and a swatch, it's like, what happened? Scoopy, containery sort of reservoir. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a fun what's new at the drugstore video for y'all. You guys know that these are some of my favorite videos to film for you guys. So I've got some goodies here. I think I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that I'm going to run through with you, show you some swatches, let you know kind of my initial first thoughts and first impressions on these products and just do a fun what's new at the drugstore video. So let's get into it. So let's start out with this. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins plus Insulizole mm -hmm. Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I have it in 710. This is what I'm wearing right now. I do have a whole video on this. I'm not sure what order they're going to go up, but I do have a whole review and demo video on this foundation, but just kind of like quick thoughts on it. I do really love how it looks when I first wear it. Um, when I first apply it, like in the first, I don't know, couple hours or so, I love how it looks. So I'm kind of a little bit torn on this um, foundation. So check out that video, that review video to hear more thoughts. But I love how natural it looks on the skin. Really, really beautiful and skin-like. Not crazy matte or anything like that. Just looks like skin does have a strong scent to it. That's something major to note about it. It has a very strong perfumey, um, like sunflower perfume sort of scent. It smells good, but I don't like that kind of perfumey scent in my foundation. It just like, it's like, oh, I don't want to put that on my face. So it's not a bad scent. It's just, I don't want it in my foundation. So that's a little side note. So anyway, Check out that video for more thoughts. This is one of my favorite new products that I've tried. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter, and this is in 100 Molten Gold. I do have this highlighter on today. This is gorgeous. It's just like a beautiful, intense gold highlight. I mean, it's, it's intense. Like, it's not subtle. It is a whoa baby, whoa bam, intense highlighter. And it's like way less of a champagne-y sort of a gold, which is, you know, a lot of golden highlighters are more kind of that champagne-y gold. This is more of like a yellowy gold, which I think is really beautiful, really fun. I like that it's a little bit different, um, but really beautiful. It's intensely pigmented. Um, it's kind of that like thick-esque sort of texture to it where it's it's pretty intense like it doesn't take a lot to build it up it's like pretty intense right off but I do find that it blends um, I don't think that it's necessarily hard to work with just less is more with it I think um, and it wears really well throughout the day it's just pretty and a lot of fun so I love this this was around um, I think around seven dollars I think the foundation was around 10 or 11. Then there is another face palette from Maybelline. This is the Master Bronze by Face Studio Bronze and Highlight Kit. So there are four different products in here. I love their blush palette, so I was really excited to see this. So it has a highlighter. This is like a metallic-y sort of a finish. I kind of like blush bronzer in one. That's kind of like a satiny finish. This one is kind of like a warm tone bronzer. Um, this is pretty much a matte, but then has shimmer in it. It has golden shimmer. And then the, this is kind of like more of a cool tone sort of a bronze. And this is kind of more of a satin finish. So those are what you are getting in the palette. And here are the swatches. So you can see that one's really nice and metallic. This one has a little bit more of a sheen than this one. To me, like I see a little bit more of that sheen um, in that one. So it's kind of like a satin shimmer. I don't know. Like it looks more satin in the pan, but swatched, it definitely looks more like a little bit more of a shimmery. Um, this one is one that just doesn't really swatch very well, but it's much better on the face. Like in a swatch, it's like, what happened? <laughs> but on the face, it's way better. And then this one is just really beautiful. That's like one of those just works sort of bronzers to me. Like it's it's cool tone, but it has just a little bit of like a warmth to it where it's just really versatile. I do feel like this palette is one that doesn't swatch as well as it performs on the face. Like I find this one works much better on the face. 
I like to combine these two. Um, that's what I have on today. And it just makes a really pretty, like, everyday mid-tone bronzer sort of a look. Um, so here are my thoughts on this. I do really like it. Um, I love the highlighter in it. I think the highlighter is so pretty. I love that it has kind of like a blushy sort of a product in there. Um, and I like these two. So I really do like it, but I don't love, love it. Am I glad I got it? Yes. I love the um, blush palette a lot more. Of course, they're totally different products. One is blush. This is more contour and highlight. Um, so I love that one. I really enjoy that one. And I like this, but I don't like jump up and down, love it. And there are some new eyeshadow palettes from Maybelline. These are the City Mini palettes, and I got the shade Chill Brunch Neutrals. So this is what the outside packaging looks like, really cute, so it's like a little sleevey thing. Um, so I got the one that was kind of like more cool toned, purpley looking, um, and this is what it looks like. So it's really cute in the pan. I like the size of it, great for travel. I like how they did something different with how they arranged them. It just looks cute. So you've got like different options here. You've got an eye look here, you've got an eye look here, or whatever eye look you want to do. So they gave you some ideas of like groupings, but you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, pair whatever you want together from this palette. It all would work because it's just, you know, colors that go really well together. So here are the swatches. Really pretty, really, really pretty. Not super impressed with these two right here. This one is really chunky. So I would just use that with some kind of a mixing medium. Like it is really pretty. I love the shimmer in it, but it's just really chunky and powdery. This one again, um, is a, it's less um, chunky and powdery than this one, but it is still that kind of a texture to it. So that one I would probably use with some MAC Fix Plus. But the other ones, amazing. And those are still workable. They're still really pretty. They just might take a little bit of tweaking when you use them. But look at that one. Gorgeous. Now these are a little bit powdery. So that's something to note about them. But you know, that's just not a make it or break it for me. Um, like I might have to do a little bit more cleanup, you know, when I'm doing my makeup. But that's not like a... I'll hate an eyeshadow just because it's a little bit powdery. Would I prefer it to not be? Yes, but I think it's still really nice. I think it's really, really pretty. I think this was around, shoot, eight or nine dollars, I think. So still really affordable. They had a fun color. They had like a greeny one. They have more of kind of like a warm golden one. So a lot of different options from this um, whole little city mini palette collection. Then CoverGirl has a new mascara. This is the Total Tease Mascara and I got it in very black. It says full plus long plus refined. On the back it says full long refined. Sexy teased lashes. Use the lash brush to amplify volume from root to tip for a full fanned out effect. Dark defined lashes that last all day. So adorable packaging to it. I love the pink and black. It's very kind of like reminiscent of the um, roller lash from Benefit. Like it has that kind of a look to it. Um, really interesting wand to it. It's like got a lot of things happening here. Like really kind of an interesting funky sort of looking wand, but I like it. Like it's got the one side that you can really like define your lashes. It's got another side that's kind of like, um, like a little brushy sort of a thing. So you can really get at the base of your lashes. And then it has um, like some shorter ones on the side. So you can really get like close to your lash line. It's really an interesting brush to it. And I really do like the formula on this. This is what I have on my lashes today. I do find that I apply, I apply a lot of it to get the kind of lash look that I'm going for. I like a lot of volume, a lot of length in my lashes. So I just find that I apply a lot of coats to this, but I find that for most mascaras, other than like the It Cosmetics Superhero, that one I still apply several coats. Um, but most mascaras, I just apply a lot of mascara. I just like a lot of mascara. So same thing with this. I do kind of build it up, but it builds on itself nicely. I don't find that it smudges. CoverGirl mascaras are so good about not smudging, at least on me, that's what I experience with them. So I'm really liking this, this mascara. I think it's a great one, adorable packaging, cool brush, good formula, gives you 
um, volume and length and um, kind of has that fluttery look at first, but if you build more, you get more of that like volume and definition and a little bit more vavoom looking lashes. And CoverGirl has a new lip product that is very reminiscent of the Too Faced Melteds. This is the Melting Pout, pretty close name too, Gel Liquid Lipstick. And I got the color 110. I don't know if it has like a name. I don't see a name. So I think it's just 110. This is what I have on my lips right now. And here is the swatch of it. So this is very close to the Melteds in my opinion, more so than the Maybelline Color Jolts. I feel like those have more of a gel kind of a consistency to them. They're still close, but they just seem to move a little bit more. These seem a lot more like the Melteds where um, they are that kind of creamy, slightly gel sort of a texture to them, but more of more of a cream, slightly moussey, um, then the color jolts are, they're just not, they're not super jelly, but just a little bit on the gel side. So they start out more glossy like that, but then they really do set down. Now I did blot a little bit because same as the Melteds, I find if I apply too much of them, they're less comfortable, they move around a little bit more, but if I apply just a little bit and or I set them, um, not set them, is that what I said earlier? I didn't mean to say set, I meant to say blot. I don't know what I said, but I'm trying to say blot. So if I apply less and blot it, I find that they are more comfortable, they don't move as much, um, they look better, they're a little bit more of kind of like a cream satin matte sort of a finish, um, and I just like them better. So using less and blotting them, I like them more. And even the um, little applicator looks just like the Melteds. Like it's that like foamy, um, squishy tipped applicator. So super similar to those. I like this color too. I think it's a really pretty, um, I don't know, happy, cute, neutrally sort of pink. And the last product that I have to show you is a lip product from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer and I got the color 60 T's. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty packaging. I think it looks really nice and high end. Um, the little applicator to it is a doe foot applicator, but then it has like a little um, scoopy, containery sort of reservoir <laughs> part to it where it kind of like holds some of the product in there. So you can get a good amount of product when you're using it. So I like the little doe foot applicator to it. Um, and it has the same scent as their lipsticks. So that kind of like baby powdery scent. If you don't like the smell of their lipsticks, you won't be happy about that. But I've grown to really like that smell because I love Maybelline lipsticks. So I'm glad that they smell like their lipsticks versus like some of their weird, their other glosses have had like a weird sort of a scent. Smells like the lipsticks, which I like. And then as far as this color, I really do like this color. It's a beautiful like neutral, light nude. It's very light. Like I put this on one day and <laughs> I asked Timothy what he thought of it and he started singing the theme song from iZombie. So apparently it looked like I was dead. <laughs> so I have to wear this with a lip liner and or pair it with something else, but it is a pretty nude. Now as far as formula goes on this, this is really thick and really sticky. Like I do like it, but man, when I wore it, I even said out loud, I was like, whoa, this is sticky. I'm not wearing it right now, but just when I was wearing it, I was really noticing it's a thick sort of a formula. So it's not my favorite formula. I would not want this in a darker color because I would just be afraid of where it would go and how it would wear. Um, but in a lighter color, I like it, but I don't love it because it's that thick sort of a texture to it. Um, I think I just like the one I got. I think that's really ultimately it. Like I probably wouldn't want more colors in this, maybe like a light pink, neutrally pink shade, um, but I don't want a bunch of colors in this and I think it's just okay. I think it was around $7. All right guys, so those are all the new at the drugstore goodies that I have to show you today. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you've been trying out some new goodies from the drugstore. What are you thinking about them? What are some of your favorite new things? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.